Hey guys, Plus Minus here. Um, as the years go by, Apple continues to release refreshes of their MacBook lineup with the Air, the MacBook Pros, and then recently the introduction of the MacBook. While for most people, the latest and greatest are must-have when it comes to Apple, not everyone shares this way of thinking. You might be a college student looking for a cheap laptop, a parent looking to save some money, or just someone who likes to mess with their electronics by switching the parts around. The older MacBooks are a great value and can hold up really well. In this video, we are going to look at the 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2012 and see how well it works in 2017. The MacBook Pro 2012 has the now iconic aluminum body with a classic glowing Apple logo in the back, which is now discontinued in the newer models. I kept my MacBook in great condition and it looks just as good as new. The keyboard is the best in class with great travel, which the new models replace with their own butterfly keys, which are now thinner and less clicky. Oh, and let's not forget about the trackpad. The trackpad is extremely precise just so much easier to use than other laptop trackpads. Uh, the MacBook screen is probably the most outdated part of the computer. The display is 1280 by 800, which does not compare with the Retina models. For many people, this is an unacceptable uh, screen to work with, but it actually is not that bad. Well, it's not as sharp as other screens. The color reproduction is accurate, and watching HD videos are just a pleasure. As for the rest of the specs, the MacBook 2012 is sporting a dual-core i5 with Intel HD graphics and 4 gigs of RAM. For my particular MacBook, I have switched out the internal hard drive for an SSD which greatly improved the performance of the MacBook. I would strongly recommend doing this if you have an older model as well since it's very easy to do. Also you can add more RAM up to 16 gigs, but for what I do, uh, I do on mine, 4 is enough. Uh, Mac OS is extremely efficient with the specs that comes with the MacBook Pro, which results in a very smooth and enjoyable experience with no noticeable lag. As for the ports, we have some legacy port, uh, ports such as Thunderbolt and MagSafe, which is awesome by the way, and it's a real shame that took that out in the newer models. You also get two USB 3.0 ports and an SD card reader, as well as a disk drive uh, which can also re be replaced with another SSD or hard drive for more storage. As for the software, this is where Apple products begin to shine. Now, this is a 2012 MacBook Pro running on the latest macOS update, which is Sierra. As I mentioned before, the performance is great and you have access to all the Mac apps in the iTunes store. This is something that really surprises people as software support usually does not last as long or it can make the computers run worse in some cases. Apple continues to release great features for their MacBooks such as handoff or iMessage for their computer all through software updates. And if you really hate Mac OS or you just want Windows, you can always dual boot Windows alongside for the best of both worlds. As for the price, I purchased this less than $300, which was such a steal. Compare this to the over $1,000 for the new MacBook Pros and around seven to 800 for the Airs and a MacBook. You could save some serious money by purchasing this model or something a bit older as well. If you're looking for a cheap laptop with great performance and support, this is a great option. Make sure you look around first though, so you can find the best price. While the MacBooks have come a long way, the 2012 Classic is still a great alternative in 2017. It has great performance, it's much cheaper than newest MacBooks with around 80% of the features and of course, it has a super awesome glowing Apple logo in the back. If you're lucky to find one for a great price, I say go for it. This 5 year old laptop will get you through those college papers and help with those work spreadsheets with no issues. Apple came out with a winner in 2012, and in 2017, it holds its own with no problems. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good investment in buying a MacBook Pro 2012 and 2017? Let me know in the comment section below. 
If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching. We're everything plus more, minus less.